Whenever you're troubleshooting a diesel engine, the glow plugs is something that uh, a lot of times you need to check to make sure it's working right. Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. And today I'm just working on my little skid loader here. Looks like we've got a little bit of diesel fuel on the lens there. Sorry about that. And um, we're just going to check and make sure our glow plugs are good. Now, I already verified that I have power coming to the glow plugs and that they're drawing some amps. So I know that they're fine, um, most likely fine, but I don't know if they're all fine individually. So we're going to test or ohm them out to see uh, what they're running at for ohms. Now, on this particular model, we have this bar right here that I have loose right now. If you can see that, let me get a closer view. So this little bar here goes across the top of all three uh, glow plugs and it connects those. So that's where the positive lead connects onto the engine. Uh, now, what we're concerned about right now is testing them individually. So I loosened the nut on all three of those and that little bar slides off. Put our electrical tester into measuring ohms, which is that little horseshoe symbol there. And we should be able to get a reading by going from the ground, which is anywhere on the frame of the uh, skid loader engine, to the top of the prong there that's sticking out. And we should be able to get a reading there. 1.33, 1.32. So that one's very similar. And the last one, 1.32. 3, 3. So all three of those glow plugs are ohming out exactly the same, or almost exactly the same. Now, glow plugs should ohm out generally underneath 6 ohms. Obviously, if you had one that was wildly different, uh, you would want to change that glow plug out because it is probably bad. That's pretty much all you need to do in order to ohm out your glow plugs. So if this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. If you're looking for a decent electrical tester, I'll link that down below. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get this thing going soon. I think I'll link down in the description once I get the videos up to the skid loader repair process. If you're also repairing a skid loader. But uh, it's been very long and miserable. So I think it might have had something to do with the water in the fuel potentially. But I don't really know. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.